Hello stamping friends, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Back with you again after missing way more than I would like to. Uh, I apologize, I had a, I'm still dealing with a little bit of a cold or allergies or something. It's not COVID. I keep having to reassure people it's not COVID, but I am better. Uh, I will apologize up front that I may have coughing and or sniffling and possibly blowing of nose today. <laughs> so hopefully my voice will hold out. We will, we'll see. Anyway, I wanted to get to this class because it is another fun, whimsical class that I know you're going to love. It's with the Sweet Songbirds Bundle. And I, I don't know if you have looked at this bundle before, but I'll flip it around in a minute and you can see that it comes with a punch and a stamp set. And these little birds are just adorable and I could not wait to play with them. And I think you're going to really love them as well. We're also going to be featuring the... Uh, it's called the Pretty Prints Designer Series Paper. I'll show you that. It's a special, um, a little bit different Designer Series Paper pack than we're used to, so I'll show you that as well. Before we get started, though, I wanted to uh, just give you a couple of updates. Number one, we're, we're on a different day here, so I'm sure that people are going to not realize that I'm having a class, but if you are joining us live, yay! Thank you so much. If you are catching the replay, thank you again. Since we're doing this on a Friday, I'm gonna have this class available to earn until next Friday. So it'll be on the 24th. And um, you can just place an order, a $40 order or more with uh, with me at twocoolstamping.com, clicking on the Shop Now button. You have to make sure that you use the host code that I provide and I'll give you that when I flip the camera around. Uh, and you'll get that five card class kit. So. I'll tell you more about that as we turn the camera around. Again, that will be able to be earned until next Friday. Now, when's my next class? I know many of you are wanting to know. I'm trying to get back to a more consistent schedule. I'm not going, I'm not going to promise I'm going to have one on Tuesday. That's usually have, has been my class day, um, but things are still crazy. I'm still not feeling my best. Um, so stay tuned and I will have more information on when my next class is. So I apologize for not having a better far out plan and schedule for you, but you'll just have to stay tuned and you can always catch the replay if you don't catch me live. So, okay, another thing to, two more things before we start the class and that is, don't forget that our last chance list for our current mini catalog is happening now. That's the retired list. Those things are good while supplies last through the end of the month only. Some of those items are discounted up to 60%, 50 or 60% now, I can't remember. Um, but you can go on twocoolstamping.com. There's a list there that you can print out, see what's on sale. And then when you shop, if you don't find it anymore, that means it's sold out. And there are several items that are already sold out. So again, it's while supplies last for all of the retiring items. And those will all be gone for good on June 30th. So don't miss that. Be sure to check that out before the end of the month. And then speaking of mini catalogs, of course, we're getting rid of one on June 30th. And then July 1st, we'll have our new mini catalog. This is going to have all of our fun fall seasonal items, including, um, you know, all the autumn things, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and Christmas. So you're not going to want to miss that. If you need a copy of the mini catalog and you're not sure if I have you on my mailing list, just message me with your address and I'll be happy to send one out to you. Also happening on July 1st, we're having our celebration 2.0 for 2022. It's for July and August and there's lots of fun items inside of this flyer that you can earn for free with either a 50 or $100 purchase. So all that all begins July 1st through the end of August. So look for that and again if you need any of those catalogs then just message me with your address or email me. If you're on my website, there's an email button. You can just uh, give me your address. As long as you're not uh, having a shopping relationship um, as far as getting a catalog from any other demonstrator. Obviously, you can order from, from whomever you want to. But if you're not already getting a catalog from someone else, then let me know. And I'll be happy to send you one. Okay, let's get down to the fun. This is the Sweet Songbirds. Hold on for one second while I flip the camera around. All right, so let's get everything on here nice and straight. I'm gonna flip this just a little bit more, a 
little bit down here. Sorry about that. We'll get it where we need to be. All right. So I mentioned our five-card class kit for the Sweet Songbirds. We usually do a five-card class kit. I will give you all of the supplies that you need for making five of the cards that you're going to see tonight. All you'll need to do is add the stamps, ink, and adhesive. You just need to place a $40 minimum order at twocoolstamping.com and use that host code that I have provided here, BKN2W4AQ, and I'll have that listed in my video description as well. That'll be available through June 24th. Okay, let's look at our bundle that we're going to be using, the Sweet Songbirds. They're so adorable. I just love them so much. This is a photo polymer set, so it's see-through, so you can see exactly where you're stamping. And then the bundle comes with a songbird builder punch, so you can get the outline of the large bird, the wing, the body, and the beak. And all of that will help to build that larger songbird. So we'll be using that, as well as a lot of these stamped images. And today we're also going to be featuring the Pretty Prints Designer Series paper. Now this is a little different than typical. And let me show you why. We have four, four main colors, and it's Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, and Evergreen, Evening Evergreen. And there are 12 sheets, but each of the sheets is different. So you have, they're similar, but they're all a little bit different. So the one, uh, and they're all in, this, in the four different colors. So you get three designs uh, double-sided in each of the four colors. So here's the first design, this first pattern. There's the back side, so you have a lot of, of the greenery on one side. Here's the next pattern, and then the back side, just kind of a subtle mottled Bermuda Bay color. And then here's the final one. So you can see they're very, very similar. This is kind of a, has a little bit of a painterly look, type of look. So you'll have all three of those double-sided sheets in each of the colors. So you can see, for example, that this is the one we just looked at, and then you'll have the Blackberry Bliss, same pattern, and then same backside as well. So you'll see that there's no two pages are exactly alike, but you'll have only those three patterns in the four different colors. So it makes for things to be a little bit different for my class, and you'll notice that um, Anytime I use the paper, I'm going to um, be using one of the designs, but your class kit may have another design. It will have one of the three patterns, but they're so similar, you can use any of the patterns for the card kit. So I'll show you what I mean when we get started. Okay, let's start out with our first card. And this is a case from, um, from Laura Milligan. The cards, many of the cards I'm making tonight are um, ideas that I got from my team member, Peggy Tassler. So thanks to her. Shout out to her. She assists me uh, each week. And she, finally, back to my studio after way too long of an absence be, due to the pandemic. Uh, but she had some great designs and she had cased a few things from, uh, from different people around the internet. So this one was a case from Laura. Milligan, I believe. It starts with Bermuda Bay and it's a traditional card base, so it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Next up, I use the picture this die cut dies to create these windows. So let me show you this. This is a really fun die set to have in your stamp collection. One of them we've used before. And this is fun to use with little characters that pop out. And this one is too. But this one, um, we're going to use the songbirds. And if you don't have this picture of this, you can always use the stitched rectangles uh, in the place of it. But this is a fun die set to have. So I just have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of one of those pretty prints in Bermuda Bay with that picture of this die cut already uh, in place there, already cut out. I, next, I have a piece of basic white, and it's just a little bit smaller, so it's three and three quarter by five. Now, what we're gonna do when we go to stamp, I'm just gonna put a little tiny dab of seal 
and then I'm gonna center this white sheet right in the middle. So this will give us our positioning for where to stamp, but we still wanna be able to pull these apart because we're gonna pop this top layer up with dimensional. So just a little tack to keep it in place, and then we'll get started with the stamping. So we're kind of doing this going backwards. We're building the card up. We're gonna start with one of the sentiments, and it is a, it's your special day. And that's gonna go right in this, oh, before I get started, whoopsie. To get the best image, we're gonna use that paper piercing mat. Photopolymer always likes a little bit of firm cushion underneath to have a really good stamp. So there is our sentiment. Next, we're going to use, since they're sweet songbirds, we're gonna use some musical notes. And we'll stamp those, two of those over here, and then a couple of them over here. All right, so that's all we need for the background. So we're gonna un carefully untack those. Let me put this aside so I don't get my finger in it. Carefully untack. Do do do. It's stickier than you think. And then we'll use some seal to put this down on our card front. And you'll wanna center that. And then we'll use a lot of dimensionals to pop this up. So, we're gonna put one in each corner and one on each, in between each of those. And then I think I'm going to actually, you can either use the mini dimensionals or I just like to cut some of these edge pieces with my scissors because they're nice and skinny. And that way your edge, this these little edges here are not going to droop. So it's a good way of using up some of those edges on your dimensionals. I like to do that. No waste. All right, so we'll take all the backings off. Sorry for the sniffs. I know I'm gonna need to blow my nose. I just keep having the remnants of my allergies or cold. I'm not real sure what it is. All righty, we'll put that right over the top. Carefully centering. All right, so I love that. It gives you a recessed window look. You can see that dimension there. All right, next let's do some stamping. So I'm just gonna get a couple of, we're gonna do a couple of songbirds. We're gonna start with Bermuda Bay. Actually, I meant to do Coastal Cabana, but I didn't bring that over here. So we're gonna do Bermuda Bay stamped off once. We'll see how that works. It's supposed to be Coastal Cabana. Not too bad. So one thing I want to share with you is when you go to stamp this, you'll want to look at your song builder punch and you'll see how the tail is kind of, it's kind of flat here with the tail on the bottom. That's gonna be how you want to position your, oh, you gotta open it up. <laughs> you want to be where how you position your songbird so that it stamps well. So you can just stick it right in there. If you, if you have it going Let's say you stamp it like this, then you're gonna have to cut off the bottom there. So see how it's kind of, if you just have kind of a flat surface here on it, visualize that, that's where you want to have your songbird or how you want to position it when you stamp it so you can punch it well. So here is our songbird. Next, we're going to stamp some eyes and there's two different pairs of eyes, one just round and then another are little half moons that you can either use um, kind of curving up or curving down. I'll show you what I mean by that. But for this one, we're just using the regular eyes. Now, when you put these eyes on, you'll wanna make sure that you get them pretty close to the beak. Don't put them up too high. It looks kind of funny. 
Um, you don't want them too straight. They look really wonky, you know, unless you're looking for like a Picasso look <laughs> for your songbird, you'll want to have that. Just kind of at a little tiny angle. And then we'll also have, let's see, we're gonna color his breastplate here with some um, polished pink. So we'll just position that right over the top. And then also the beak, let's see if I can find that. There's so many little stamps, I'm trying to find them all. <laughs> the beak is gonna be in pale papaya. So I love how you can just use the stamped images, look through there and line them up and they look absolutely so, so cute. Now we want a wing for him. So we're gonna stamp a wing. I gotta find that one. All right, here he is. And this one's gonna be, uh, it should be in Coastal Cabana, but like I said, I forgot to bring that. I have Bermuda Bay, so I'm gonna stamp off once and then stamp Again, so stamped off Bermuda Bay it looks a lot like Coastal Cabana. And you'll see that I have the wing pointed in that direction. That's purposeful because on our punch, it's pointed in that direction. So you want it to kind of go along with where it is positioned on the punch. All right, so for this, we're gonna use a little glue dot. And put that on the side. So there he is all ready to be positioned down here at the bottom. We're gonna put a friend on there as well. And this one, so this is the, we did the large songbird. We're gonna do the small one. Bring over my scrap. Let me get that inked a little bit better. So that's Bermuda Bay, stamped off once so that it looks like Coastal Cabana. Now this one does not have a punch. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of hand trimming. No big deal. If you have your paper snips, they're super sharp and they will work perfectly for you. Okay. There we go. And this little guy has a little breast plate or breast stamp as well. And I put them both on the same block here so I could find them easily. Whoops, that was off just a tiny bit. That's all right. And then another beak in. I keep hitting this tail and it's moving it. There we go. It probably, here's a tip. Stamp those on before you cut it out. That would be a smarter thing. All right, and we don't wanna forget his eyes. So we have our little eyes over here. Ta-da! So, so cute. And he gets a little wing as well. So here is my little wing. Stamped off once and punched. All right, and then our little glue dot. So this wing will work for both. Isn't he cute? Just love that. All right, let's pop both of these up. Again, I apologize for my sniffles. I'm gonna have to blow my nose on camera and that's really gonna be horrible. <laughs> All right, this guy is gonna go on right here. So we're gonna pop him up. with a couple of dimensionals, add a little bit of seal on this side. Whoopsie, oh, about pulled his tail right off. All right, so there's our one. And then the other one's gonna go up here, so cute. We'll put a couple of dimensionals behind him add a little bit, whoops, I think I messed that up. There we go. Put a little bit of seal. And there we go. Pardon me, I'm gonna just do a quick blow. 
this is what I'm running into. I just, I've, <laughs> it's really hard to do stamping when you <laughs> are having coughing and, and sinus issues. <laughs> I apologize. All right, so just to save time, let me show you how I dressed it up a little bit. Here's my finished card. I added a little uh, polished pink bow with a glue dot, and then I used the opal rounds. And for those, these come in the, just the iridescent glittery color, and I used the dark polished pink stamp and blends marker and just lightly colored all around, and that color stays. So that's how you get those pretty pearls. I actually, when I did this, I couldn't find my dark, so I used light polished pink. So you can see the difference here, that the dark is gonna match that ribbon perfectly. So this is how you make that first card. I love that look. Let me show you my too cool version. I always do a second version that is too cool. So this one uses the new, um, it has a granny apple green card base, but the paper is the new Parakeet Party in color designer series paper. The songbirds are in polished pink and uh, pale papaya, and um, we, we use the same polished pink ribbon. So those are the two versions. Okay, that's your first card. You'll get all the parts and pieces to make this one. Now let me also mention, when I give you the parts and pieces, anything that is stamped and then punched, I do not give you the punch. Um, it just makes it really hard to, to stamp on something that's already punched. So I'm just gonna give you scrap paper and you'll have to either, if you have the punch, you can punch that out or you can just trim it out with your paper snips. Okay, let's go on to the next one. This one's gonna begin with the Blackberry Bliss traditional card base, eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. This is also gonna be another vertical card. I started out with a piece of the Sun Prints or the Pretty Prints paper. Um, there's also a, a pack called the Sun Prints. That's all in all of the really pretty Night of Navy, Starry Sky, Pacific Point colors and very similar patterns. It's all a part of the Pretty Prince Suite or is it Nature Prince Suite? Anyway, I don't have it memorized yet, but that's also really pretty paper. But this is from, um, that's called the Sun Prince. This is called Pretty Prince. It's a little bit confusing. Check it out in the annual catalog. All right, this one is four by three. Again, it's in the um, Blackberry Bliss color scheme. You could use either side, really. And again, when you get your pattern, it may look like this. It may look like one of the other patterns. And then I have a piece of Rich Razzleberry here, and this is a four by two and a quarter, and it's already texture embossed with the brick and mortar embossing folder. And we'll put that along the bottom here. All right. Next up, I have a die cut from the stitched rectangles dies using um, basic white. And we're going, going to stamp a little songbird scene on there. So I'm gonna use this scrap paper uh, because I'm going to stamp off of it a little bit. So let's get all of the parts we need here. We're going to start with our a couple of branches and early espresso. So here's our branch. Now when you stamp this, you're going to come in, we're going to have one coming in at the top, one coming in from the bottom. You wanna leave enough room to have your leaves, so kind of watch your positioning of it. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So we'll have one coming in this direction. Again, this is early espresso. And then another one coming in this direction. Whoops, oopsie. Hopefully we'll cover that up with our songbird. All right, then let's add some leaves. We're gonna add Leaves in pear pizzazz. 
And these leaves are positioned so that they go onto the ends of the two branches. So there's two on one, three on another. So we'll add those. Now we're gonna add, let's see. Do, do, do. There's lots of little parts and pieces, so I don't wanna miss, I, they kind of have to go in order. I'm going to stamp, the next thing is a little sign. So many people, when they get this stamp set, they're like, what is this wood block there? This is actually to use for a sign hanging from the tree, and then your little line here, <coughs> pardon me, is the string for that sign. So we're gonna add that over here, and I'm doing that in Sahara sand. And let's see, next we're gonna add a couple of uh, little flowers, and these are going to be in Flirty Flamingo. So we'll add one, let's see, right here at the end over here. So it's a flowering tree, like so. And I think that's all we need as far as stamping. So let's add that to our card front. You can build the scene however you like, add as many flowers as you like, add as many birds, branches, however you wanna do it. So there is our background. Next, we're gonna add that songbird. So this time, we're gonna stamp the songbird in Melon Mambo. So let's clean the stamp with our Simply Chamois. Again, when we stamp it, you're gonna want to make sure that that bottom is kind of flat along the bottom there so we can punch it out easily. You're gonna use your wing again. We're gonna clean that. And then we'll, you put that over here to stamp. And, or to punch, I mean. So we'll punch this out. It's so easy to just stamp and punch and use that really cute image. Sound effects always help. All right, so we have this cute little guy. We'll add his little wing with a glue dot. And we need to add some eyes. This time, he's just kind of happy and content. And so we're gonna add kind of sleepy eyes. And I'm just gonna do this in early espresso. So you can see how they can be sleepy or just kind of like a ah, relaxed type of look. Also, one more thing I want to punch out uh, that does have a little punch here for the beak. And so I want to add that beak and we'll stamp that in pumpkin pie this time. So you just wanna make sure that you have that going in the right direction so that you can just use this punch really easily. And then to add that, I'm just gonna use just a tiny, tiny dab of multi-purpose glue this tiniest little tiny bit. So again, you can stamp directly on your bird with the color. You can stamp on scrap like we just did with, um, and then punch it out. Or you can just punch out just regular cardstock. We'll do that on another version. So this little bird's gonna go here. Unfortunately, he's not gonna, we'll try to get him to cover up some of my mistake there. Um, but we're gonna put him in a nest this time. Lots of little parts that you can add. 
So here's a nest, and then also, let's get that sign out. We stamp the nest in early espresso, and the sign we're stamping in Sahara sand, and both are on Sahara sand cardstock. And let's add one of the little sayings to our our little message board there, and this is gonna be in Early Espresso. A little note of thanks. So both of these, again, need to be trimmed out with your paper snips. I'm gonna start with this nest. You can just, I mean, it, it really doesn't take much to cut around it. You can be a little more fancy and make it a little more scallopy on the side, but I just made mine pretty roundy. And then cut out that cute little hanging wood sign, and both of these will be popped up. All right. So let's start by adding just a little bit of seal at the top of our nest, and we'll put our little songbird in there. Oh, so cute. We'll add some dimensionals behind him. Whoops. If you wanted to add a little mini dimensional, that would look great there. So here is our songbird, and then we'll add this little sign. It's gonna hang right there with our dimensionals on the back. So cute. And then I finished it off. I'll show you my version that I made earlier. I finished it off with some iridescent pearls. You guys, if you haven't tried these new pearls, pearls, the regular pearls, great. These are just one step better because they have a little bit of an iridescent shine that gives it kind of a pinkish tone sometimes, sometimes greenish, sometimes even a little bit of blue. But I put one of those in each of the flowers. So you'll get six of those in your card kit. So you can have six flowers. And so there is your finished card. Let me show you my second version. This is... Um, a case of Peggy's. Peggy did this one and um, I added some brick in the background, but this is what I was telling you about. I was using the pr uh, Sun Prints, sorry, Pretty Prints, I get them confused. Pretty Prints is the, now I'm so confused. Sun Prints is the one that's blue, sorry. And the Pretty Prints is the one that has the four different um, colors. So that is for the background. And then I used uh, Parakeet Party and Tahitian Tide for the flowers. The songbird is in Pacific Point, and that is what our background is. And then I use Night of Navy for that um, brick background. And otherwise, it is all, all the same. So there is the second card. You'll, again, you'll get all the parts and pieces to make this one. All right. Apologies, apologies. About blowing my nose again. All right, next up. This one starts with crumb cake. And we're gonna add another one of the um, Pretty Prince papers to the front. This one is just a two by five and a half. We'll add that right across the bottom. Just a little peak of crumb cake sticking out along the bottom. Then I just have a half inch strip of petal pink that I'm layering right over the top here, just a little to kind of finish off that look. And then I punched a decorative circle already. This is a new punch from the annual catalog and I'm loving it. So I'm just gonna cut that in half like so and we're gonna use that 
as a little frame for our piece that we're gonna stamp here. So this is gonna be our focal point. Again, we're gonna start with that branch in Early Espresso. I just made it really easy so all the branches are the same color. You could use um, soft suede if you wanted to, but I was liking the look of the Early Espresso. So this one comes down like this. We're gonna, again, add some leaves and those are gonna be in pear pizzazz again. So right on the end, just like we did before. Now here's another little tip. If you clean your stamp really well, make it nice and clean, stamp off, make sure you don't have any more color. Now we're going to add a couple of other leaves, but we're just gonna add the two. So I'm just inking up just the two, not the three over here. So just put those on the side. You could do just the three if you wanted to but I wanted to add a couple more leaves to this side and maybe even, whoops, well that was dumb. See, you're only supposed to do the two. So make sure it's just the two and then you'll add them again on this side. So you can see how you can add more and more leaves to that however you want to. Next, we're gonna add some feet. So this is just gonna be in Sahara sand, and this little bird's gonna have feet right there. And also, we're gonna add some more musical notes. So let me clean that, because we have black on it from our previous card. And this time, I just wanna stamp it in Sahara sand. So a couple of these. And then, where is that line? We're gonna add another sign. Actually, no line for this one. You could add a line if you wanted to, but I did no line for this, so you could see what that looked like. Okay, so here is our background piece. Then we're gonna stamp our little songbird. We'll clean the stamp again, and we're gonna use Calypso Coral to match that designer series paper. Again, making sure that tail is kind of positioned flat. And I'm gonna add some eyes again, like I have been doing this time in early espresso again. And we're gonna have those sleepy eyes once again and I'm gonna punch our songbird as well as a little beak to go with it and the little beak is going to be in petal pink so I'm just gonna use a little bit of cardstock there to make it easy so again we're gonna use just a tiny tiny dab of that liquid glue We can get just a tiny dab. Oh, come on now. It's not wanting to work for me. Let's try another one. Sometimes it gets a little gunked up on the tip. All right, let's try it over. There we go. Just a little tiny dab. There we go. Too much. That's too much. But we're going to go for it anyway. So we just would have to let him sit there and dry because it's a little bit too much. Um, okay, let's start assembling. We're gonna add these positioned uh, decorative circles on the sides. So two little strips of seal. And we're just gonna put those on either side like so. And then add the whole thing to our background. And we'll add this bird with some dimensionals. 
and also add one of those signs. Let me show you what the finished product looks like, the finished card. So this is how I ended it. And actually, when I look at this, I'm thinking this might be a flirty flamingo now that I look at this instead of Calypso Coral. My Calypso Coral is a little bit too dark. So I think that that is flirty flamingo. I made them so long ago that I can't remember what colors I use. So uh, I also added some petal pink flowers to match that petal pink strip and added that sign in um, I stamped the, the wood background in Sahara sand, a little bird told me in early espresso, and then I added some iridescent rhinestones this time to those flowers. And then the inside, don't forget to decorate the inside with that cute little branch, add some flowers to match. So you definitely want to decorate it if it says a little bird told me, you have to finish that dot, 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 that it's your special day. So make sure that you decorate the inside as well. Let me show you the Too Cool version. And this one is very similar, similar to one that Peggy Tassler did that I cased. So this is in Highland Heather. I use the um, Perfectly Penciled, I think, is the new designer series paper that's black and white and black for the decorative circle cut in half. I used Highland Heather again for the bird, Fresh Freesia for that uh, strip in the background and Fresh Freesia for the flowers. Um, and I think I used some Smoky Slate for the sign this time and black for the sentiment and the musical notes. So, and I think I used Positively Pink for the beak and the feet. So I didn't finish this card off on the inside. I used a different sentiment, a little note of thanks, instead of the little, a little bird told me. So you'll get all the parts and pieces for this card in your five card kit. All right. This is the fourth card. And this is kind of a fun fold. I'm gonna start with I'm getting some of my ink pads out of the way because I keep putting my hands in them. Not good. <laughs> All right, I'm starting with a quarter sheet this time. So it's not a full card base. It's just a quarter sheet, five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we have another sheet here. This is soft succulent, by the way. This second piece is a little, uh, I call it a front flap that's going to go on the top of it. And this is a two and three quarter by eight and a half and then scored at four and a quarter. So it's like a mini little card. So we're gonna adhere that to the card front. And we're gonna kind of have it offset just a little bit, but it's gonna be flush from the top to the bottom, like so. So this is gonna be our card and then we'll start decorating. I'm gonna start decorating the inside And so with that, just like we have for the other ones, we're gonna do a couple of branches in Early Espresso. So we'll come in right here. Whoops, that was Sahara Sand. Let's start again. Early Espresso, that's better. We'll come over here, just a little tiny one. So you kind of, see that it's going to be a little bit less of a branch on this side and a little bit more on the other. Kind of gives you an idea. Uh, this one is going to have a hanging sign. So we're going to do that Sahara sand. And what I'm going to do here just to kind of give myself a little uh, positioning, I guess, is I'm going to see where this card's going to end. And I want to make the sign show in this little part over here. So I wanna make sure that my sign will hang on the inside. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> so there is the sign strings. And then we're gonna add some leaves in soft succulent to match the background. So our leaves, 
are right here. Let me clean that off real quick. Add our leaves. Add more leaves over here. If you wanted to add a few more, you could do our little trick again where you're adding just a few up here as well. You could add flowers. This time I am not gonna add flowers. So this is our background. And I'm gonna add some seal to that. And place that right over the top. All right, now we have this little flap. We're gonna decorate that with our pretty prints. This is the Evening Evergreen, and this is gonna be a two and a half by four inch piece. Gives it a nice background. Then I have a piece here, this is a basic white die cut. I'm using the new Stylish Shapes die cuts, you guys. If you remember the stitch shapes that we used to have, which I love, 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 that was something that was a must have. Now those are gone, but this has replaced it and I love it just as much, if not better. This has beautiful stitched circles, stitched squares, and then these really nice stitched banners that you can use for all kinds of sentiments. So that's where I got this circle from. And we're gonna decorate it very similarly to our outside one here. So I'm actually gonna go all the way across with my early espresso. I'm going to get my leaves, which I've lost. I have too many things <laughs> that I'm trying to find. All right. They, I just had them. Here they are found them. So I'm just going to add a few here like so. And then we're going to add another nest like we did to the other card. So here's some Sahara sand. Here's our early espresso. We're going to add a little sign. This time the sign is going to be in white are on white and it's going to be in Sahara sand. So let's get our little wood piece out. And then this is gonna say a new sentiment we have not used yet and this is gonna say welcome on it. All right, so let's cut these little pieces out. like so. So this is gonna go right here and we'll pop that up with dimensionals. So I love how that fits right into that little strip there. And then this is gonna go here and you can see it's almost like a continuation of that branch. and our little nest that we have to cut out by hand. That's all right, it's easy. And so that will go here. Let's get our songbirds ready. We're gonna have two different songbirds this time. One is going to be I have so many different things on my on my desk. I cannot find anything. Okay, so one's gonna be pale papaya, and that's gonna be the larger bird. We're gonna clean this bird off because I'm sure it's too dark from the last one. All right, so pale papaya, ready for punching. We're also going to do the smaller bird 
And this one is gonna be in Flirty Flamingo. Whoops, I'm gonna to wanna to clean him too. All right. This time we're going to have, I can find my little eyes here. We're gonna use Early Espresso again for the eyes. The Pale Papaya one is gonna be the Mama Bird. And she has her eyes open. And the other one is gonna be the baby bird. And its eyes are going to be closed. And then one more thing we want to do for this particular circle, and that is put some musical notes on it. And we'll do that in early espresso again and we'll do that right at the top. Okay, let's start assembling these. So we have our punched out songbird. Like so. We have this little guy that we're gonna just cut out and we're not gonna need his tail. His tail's actually gonna be in the way so I'm just gonna cut his tail right off. Okay. So we'll get our nest and we're gonna assemble all this together, put a little bit of seal. And this little guy's gonna go in here. I think I'm gonna stamp his little beak in, if I can find it. I was gonna do it in Calypso Coral. But if you think I can find that when I just had it. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm losing my marbles. <laughs> All right, let's do, well we can't do Flirty Flamingo because that's what it is. What happened to my, here it is. I'm gonna find it eventually. It's somewhere, all right. We're gonna use a little bit of Calypso Coral for our beak. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's talking out of both sides of his mouth there. So here's our little guy. He's gonna be sitting on this. Then we have our mama bird and we need to stamp the feet. You know what? I feel like I need to just show you the finished card because I'm messing this up left and right. Let me just show you what it looks like. Cause it's super cute. <laughs> so this is, I stamped the feet. I stamped another wing in pale papaya. I punched this mama bird up. The, the nest and the baby bird are flat to the circle. And I just adhered the circle so that it's kind of popped off of there. So you can see how that looks. I also punched out a Calypso coral beak. So you can use that beak to make a little heart because the mama's showing love to her little baby bird and then tied it up with some pale papaya open weave ribbon. So welcome, so happy you're here. A fun little uh, baby card or um, you know, I, you could use any of the two part sayings, a little bird told me and then the inside can be um, you're celebrating a special day or whatever that one was. Anyway, you can use lots of different of the two-part um, sentiments with the sign and underneath the flap. So I love how that turned out. I thought it was so fun. It's a little, um, it's a lot of stamping actually, but it's fun. It's fun to put those together and put that whole scene together. Again, you could add some flowers to it if you wanted to. Really, really cute. Let me show you my two cool version. And I love how this one turned out too because I love the colors. So this one was started out with Starry Sky for the background. We used with um, the Orchid Oasis for the paper in the background, Fresh Freesia for our ribbon. Uh, I stamped with the or Orchid Oasis color onto the Sahara Sand. The bird is in Orchid Oasis. 
the little bird is fresh freesia, their beaks are polished pink, and then the uh, musical notes, orchid oasis. I used the early espresso again for the tree branch, but the leaves are in parakeet party this time. And then I double stamped the, um, the, the flowers in fresh freesia. So I stamped once and then stamped directly behind it or by it with out um, doing any re-inking so you get kind of a double look there. So this is another example. Little bird told me you've got something to celebrate. So super cute. I love how that turned out. It's called a front flap card and you'll get all of the parts and pieces to make this version. All right you guys we have one more and I'm loving the sec this last one is going to be another fun fold type of a card. Fun style card. And this one is actually a case of a swap card that I received from Gwen Duckworth. And I'll show you her card as our too cool version. This one starts out with Pacific Point. Again, just like our previous card, it's just a quarter sheet. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have two pieces here. We're using that um, Sun Prints paper, that blue uh, paper, and this piece is two and an eighth by five and an eighth, and then this one is two by five. So we're going to adhere those together, and then this is going to create a pocket. So it's going to go on the side here. And we're only going to want to put some adhesive along the edges here. So we're going to use tear and tape. And we'll just add that right along the edge. I have, I don't know if you can hear the whistling. I have a sweet songbird upstairs. My husband is whistling. I think to my, to our daughter. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> it's so fitting. He doesn't know that he's going to be on video. All right. So remember to get your, keep the, this side has no adhesive. Make sure it's the pocket that is no adhesive there. So you have a little pocket there. All right. This time we're going to have this cute little card that is basic white it's three inches wide and then it's an eight and a half inch long scored at four and a quarter and this is going to slip into this pocket so this will be your card but we're going to do something really cool right here so let me show you we'll position that into place we're going to use that last one of the last sentiments from the set that we haven't used yet. You've got something to celebrate. So I'm just gonna stamp it right there so we know that that is showing when the card is in the pocket. We're also going to add a few snowflakes, or snowflakes, musical notes. These are not snowflakes. You could, I guess, add snowflakes. And then the last thing we're gonna do is decorate this with a tree branch. So let me get my early espresso again. All right, this one is going to go right about here. We're going to add some leaves with our, let's clean that up, with Parakeet Party. We're going to add some flowers with Tahitian Tide. So one here, one here, one right here. All right, so let's put this in the little pocket where it's supposed to go. So here's our background. You notice that all these cards, I kind of start with the background and build up, 
I do that with a lot of my cards, but this one especially is, is helpful. So you can get that all positioned correctly. Then we're gonna do our last songbird. This time we're gonna stamp him in Pacific Point to match that background. So here's our color, here is our scrap. Let's get our songbird. Oops, that's not the right one. I've, here he is, I'm like, I've lost the songbird. Clean him up a little bit, stamp him in Pacific Point. And we'll add some eyes. This time, I'm gonna make the eyes go in a happy, kind of a happy way. So instead of having the them go like in a U shape, I am going to have them go in like an N shape or whatever, that, <laughs> upside down U. It kind of makes them look happy, like their, their eyes are closed, but it's happy. So if you can, I don't know if it'll show up there because it's kind of a dark bird, but you get the idea. Then we're gonna have a beak that's in pumpkin pie, punched out. And let's punch out the songbird before we put the beak on. Pop. A little tiny dab. I did a little tiny dab this time. Add our little pumpkin pie beak. Perfect. It's a nice contrasting color. And oh, we forgot the wing. We need a little wing for this guy. Remember, you're always going to want a little wing. And the other thing to think about when you're doing, when you're positioning your wing onto your bird is depending on how you position the wing, it gives the bird different expressions. If you have it up, it's like more excited. If you have it down, it's more subdued or sleeping. You know, so experiment with how you want your little wing. So you could have it going down like that, or if you have it going up, it's just a little more exciting. Yay! So I think we're gonna have it going up this time. We'll add a little glue dot to the back. Kind of like a yay. All right, here's the trick with this card because we're gonna have a kind of a little overlapping element to this card. So I'm gonna set this bird where I want him to be positioned on our little card, our pocket card. And we're gonna only add dimensionals under that part of the bird. So what we like to do is remember, just flip it 180, put your dimensionals over here, flip it back, and then set him where you want him. All right, now when we pull out the pocket, that bird overlaps the pocket. So it's super, super cute. I love how that works. Isn't that cool? It's too cool. It's too cool, Angie. Okay, and then last but not least, I have a little uh, starry sky twine and I've tied it into a bow. I'm just gonna add that to my branch just to give it a little extra pop there. So isn't that super cute? And then you can finish the inside up however you want. I just kind of did a little, another strip of paper. You could add another, if you want to do the two part sentiments, you could do that as well. So here is our final card. You'll get all the parts and pieces again. Again, for all the stamped and punched pieces, you're going to only get scraps of uh, basic white to stamp on. You'll have to punch those out yourself with the punch from the bundle or just simply cut it with your paper snips. Let me show you the two cool version. This is the version that came to me as a swap card from Gwen Duckworth. I love your idea, Gwen. She used the Tahitian Tide, the Parakeet Party, 
for uh, the background Tahitian Tide in color designer series paper, Tahitian Tide for her songbird parakeet party for the leaves, and she did a little note of thanks, little Tahitian Tide twine there as well, and she did that strip of paper. So thank you, Gwen, so much for sharing that adorable design. And there we have it. Okay, let me get all this up ooh, out of the way. And I'm going to show you all of the cards at once so you can see what you're getting in your class kit. All right, so we have this one we just did. We have our little flap card, our crumb cake, a little bird told me, a little note of thanks, and that special uh, picture this with the, the different squares so that they're kind of peeking in the little windows there. So these are all the cards that you're going to receive, all the supplies to make these cards. Again, to get this five card class kit for free, all you need to do is place a $40 order with me at twocoolstamping.com. Just click on the shop now link that you see there. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I thought I was going to get through without coughing. Uh, be sure to use that host code BKN2W4AQ. You'll definitely need to use that because I may have overlapping classes uh, at the same time. So I want to know which class you're trying to earn for free. So be sure to, to put that host code in. That will be on the checkout page right above the, t the order total. It'll have a little box there that you can put that in. If you happen to be ordering more than $150 worth of product, do not put the host code in. Uh, at that level, you'll actually be earning stamp and reward dollars that you can spend on that order. You'll get at least $15 worth of product for free, but you have to not use that host code. So just know that if you have $150 worth of product in your purchase, I will know that you will earn a free class kit. If I happen to have two class kits available at the same time, I'll check with you to make sure that we're getting the class kit that you want. Usually I can tell because of what you're ordering, what you want. So um, so anyway, just keep that in mind if you have an order over $150. Otherwise, any order uh, between 40 and 150, you wanna use that host code and I think that's it. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this extra super cute Sweet Songbirds class. Uh, and I hope you have fun putting it together. It really is a, a really great time to put all the different scenes together and the different expressions on their faces. Just really, really fun to put together. So enjoy that. Uh, if you have any questions, if you need a catalog, you can always uh, message me or email me on twocoolstamping.com. There's a link to email me there and I'll be happy to get back to you or send you a catalog if you need one. All right. Thanks so much for joining me either live or during the replay. I really appreciate you having patience with me uh, with my <laughs> several things that have been keeping me from, from doing classes. Hopefully we'll get back on a schedule very, very soon and I appreciate your patience. Until the next time we have a class, I will see you and I hope you enjoy stamping. This is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Bye-bye.